fraud is here. The fraud is here. <laughs> Guests bought tickets to our wedding experience, not knowing no, one thing that one was going to happen. One detail about it. It definitely made an impact on me, and it, it made me actually have more love for for family and certain values that I, I hold dear to myself now. They was like, "Who are you?" I'm like, "I'm Dick Rivo." Doors opened up to my vehicle. She said, "It was worth the wait." Girlies out. I can't see them all the way though. Crazy. Style Squad, what's good? It's your boy, Big Big Remo, and I'm here with the beautiful, talented Dr. Nova Styles. And we are the S T Y L E S Familia. Are we gonna do like a wedding day reflection? You know what? Let's do that. From our perspective, really reflect on the actual yeah. day and let's, the engagement of it. Let's get into that. Let's get into Woo! that. But you know, it's so much has happened since that day, but so much has happened on that day as well. And it was just like, I'm not even sure if we could even recap everything properly, but we're, we're gonna try. Yeah, well, this is just from our perspective and right. our reflection of it. Of course, we have already so many videos about our wedding, and we also have a video about the wedding planning process. You'll have so many things to put it all together. This is just our personal reflection of the actual, actual day. Right. If you don't know, we got married on June 24th, 2023. One of the best days right. of my, I, I can't say our lives, but one of the best days of my life. What about you, babe? That was truly an amazing day. And I, and I didn't think a wedding would touch me as a man in that way, but it, it definitely made an impact on me. And it, it made me actually have more love for for family and certain values that I, I hold dear to myself now. So I'm just super thankful for that day and it was amazing. So, I wanted to start off with oh, saying ahead, that <laughs> we led into, our wedding was on a Saturday. We led into Friday to Saturday with absolutely no sleep. Yeah. We, as much as I'm about my sleep and woo meditating in the morning, unfortunately, that did not happen for us because certain situations and circumstances where we had to take control of things that we were literally up from Thursday night, all of Friday, overnight Friday into Saturday. So we did not get any sleep the night before right. the wedding. And literally, we had to, I had to be up for 3.30 a.m. that morning so we can start here. We hadn't gotten any sleep right. and our days just continued from Friday into Saturday. Right. And even though Babe didn't have to get his hair done that morning, he didn't get any sleep either and he's led into no sleep with, for the wedding day. I literally had to bring all the material for the swag bags, including my, uh, you know, my, my, my garments, uh, her garments, just everything. Babe had to unpack all that stuff, but by the time we got to the hotel, it was 3.30 a.m. Right. And that's when we was unpacking everything. Babe was bringing all that stuff up, and then from there, it was go time. It was go time. Was literally I go time. I think you had like, like, touch-ups, like hair, makeup, et cetera. Et cetera. <laughs> I, went, I, took, I went to make sure everybody was straight, wake up, my other maid of honor because she went to to sleep for a little while so we had to go wake her up uh lola had to go go downstairs no go to deja's room the other maid of honor and then i went to my room went to take a shower and wash my hair and then the meditation girls came during that time right. so i had to be in my room to greet them my assistant came <laughs> 
time and so this was about almost like 4 30 at this time and everybody was coming getting ready to start everything so i had to not only try to get myself ready but manage all those people yeah like, to get ready until my sister came then she took over on my end i managed to get like a half hour of sleep but oh lucky baby it, lucky i mean baby. it wasn't really sleep like i just sat in the bed and i think i was just playing music the whole time just vibing trying to like figure out like you know because like a lot of things you don't know what's gonna happen on that day like it's like like damn i hope i don't trip when i'm walking down the aisle i hope i don't you know what i mean i'm just i'm just in my head about a lot of a lot of my thoughts and i was just like I right, whatever it is it's gonna be what it is so just just cool out and relax so you're just filled vibing. with just so right. many emotions thoughts right. feelings there's so many people yeah. around you asking you thousands a million of questions, questions. Yeah. i'm just thankful to have my my my, my best man there and my, my groomsmen because they definitely like helped a lot you know what i'm saying people don't realize the the stress that, cause yeah, obviously it's, it's it's your wedding, but the people on the outside don't realize that it's a happy moment, but it's also stressful. And it's just good to see familiar faces that are there to support you and your wife on that day. So that shout out to them, cause that, that, that was really, really needed. You know? Absolutely, I had two maid of honors. That yeah. was my full bride's party. Two maid of honors, the best maid of honors any girl could ask for. Right. They were amazing from the time I asked them to be my maid of honors up until even now. We've, yeah, they, we've, they, they we've, showed we've up and they the showed wedding, out. They, right? They right. supported me. That was like the motto, like show up and show out. Right? They supported me in so many ways. That day I was emotional. I started crying at one point, multiple times of the day. But one point before we got to uh, any part of the wedding and they were just right there. So I think that is a very important yeah, point being to, post, right. to point out for the actual reflection of our day that the people that we intentionally picked out for our wedding party. I had two maid of honors and I also had a best man. We had just a wedding party. It wasn't just like only females on my side and males on his side. Right. But they were so important and pivotal Very. aspects of our wedding process, our wedding day, everything about right. our wedding and us. Yeah. And that's how we wanted it. Yeah. Like honestly, without without if one of them wasn't there, the day wouldn't have gone how it went. They each played a role. On some in some factor, whether it was calming me down, calming over down, or just like saying something to me, you know, that something positive, like it, it, it helped tremendously. Most of them are not family by blood, you know, and people think that blood family is all you have and be there for you the most. Most of the people in like my two maid of honors are my best friends. They've been my best friends for life. Obviously, my sisters by now, but we're not bonded by blood. You know what I'm saying? And they were the two that were there for me. My brother obviously is my blood brother. Not obviously, but my brother is my blood brother. And he was there and he's family by blood. The other participants, most of the guys on Babe's side, like his, one of his groomsmen was my cousin, my blood cousin, right. his best man, his best friend, that's not by blood. And we think about the thing, the people that show up, sometimes we think that his blood is gonna show up first, but sometimes it's not and that's okay. But for people that are not your blood to show up in ways that they showed up for us really meant a lot to us. And as Dave said, as I said, really helped to make our day that much smoother, that much more enjoyable and lovable and that much more amazing. Absolutely. After we, you woke up, babe got a little nap in for 30 minutes. I didn't right. know because I wasn't around him. Uh, we were downstairs, my, brought my maid of honors, my mom, babe's mom, mm -hmm. my sister, my sister, no, I'm about to say my other sister. Well, I only have one sister. <laughs> <laughs> my sister, we were all downstairs, we were getting hair and makeup, all that done, and that took so long. It took a long time. So long. If you see in the pictures and the videos, I had a 25 foot ponytail. <laughs> That went from the top of my head, long Rapunzel-like ponytail, now she killed it, 25 though. feet long. That took almost four hours to do. And it wasn't planned to take four hours to do, but it literally took four hours to do. I was downstairs with my girls. My part took four hours. Theirs took about an hour each, and then our makeup took about, mine took about 45 minutes, and the girls took about 30 minutes each. So that was a long process. We were downstairs with hair and makeup almost six hours. Yeah. We also met with like supporting staff such as like photographers and videographers and like her assistants and et cetera, et cetera. So 
I was kind of handling that and then I, we also wanted to do some behind the scenes content so I was doing like my interviews and my videos while she was getting her hair and makeup done. The other amazing thing that was happening while I was getting hair and makeup, Babe was navigating through all those questions and uh, supporting staff yeah. handling all of that and the assistant handling, my assistant handling some of that stuff as well. The rest of the wedding party, the groomsmen, our parents, and anybody else? No, I th my grandma got in there too, even though she's not part of the wedding party, but my grandma was here with my dad, so she got a part into it. We're very intentional about having our day be positive, surrounded by great energy, Love. good things, good vibes, and so we started our day everyone's day off with a meditation mm -hmm. and a sound bath before they started to get ready. So the guys were in there, uh, my girls were in and out because makeup, hair and makeup is crazy. So everyone was in a, a soundproof room mm -hmm. and we had Tiffany who led the sound meditation and got everybody set up and ready and grounded to be engaged in our wonderful wedding day. Right. And so this was all of our wedding party, our family, our moms, our dads, mm -hmm. and my grandma got into it. And they were in there for 45 minutes. Right. Right? I actually fell asleep. We had guys on the floor, guys that never meditated before. Yeah, and Andy, Andy was like, yo, I need to start doing this. But Tiffany did say, you can sit, you can sit up, or you can like lie down, however mm -hmm. you feel comfortable. I'm like, I'm gonna lie down. <laughs> they was like, I'm gonna get those extra 30 minutes. I, I, heard, her, I heard her say, put this over your eyes. And imagine your I was out, yo. That was like one of, the, one of the best sleeps I had in a while. Right, yeah. and so everybody got to gauge in that and really get grounded and right. set their day up to have an amazing day. Right. Let us give you time stamps. So the sound meditation for everyone, our guests and our party started at 6 a.m. Remember, we were, babe was taking a nap for about a half hour from 5.30. I was already getting hair and makeup started before that time. Sound meditation started about six. It ended about 7.15-ish. Right. We had the brunch like Babe said. Brunch was happening from 7.15 on going. We provided brunch for all of our wedding participants. Then between about nine o'clock to 12 o'clock, Babe was recording his portion right. with the vide videographer the and the photographer. photographer. We were still in hair and makeup. And so then about 12-ish, Babe was finishing up. I was trying to finish up. Like I said, it went over then a time. And as all of this was happening in the hotel, we're preparing to look amazing. Right. Our wedding Our guests. Our wedding guests. They showed up to the meetup spot. We had a particular meetup spot so everybody can congregate and meet up so that they can arrive and see. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait before that. Uh, I don't think we ever were like straight up with the fact that our guests had no idea. I don't think we like were straightforward with this part. Okay, yeah. They had no idea what was happening on, for right. our wedding day. They, as you know, we hope you know if you're up to this part so far in our process, guests had to buy tickets. Right. Guests bought tickets to our wedding experience, not knowing one, one thing that one was going to happen. One detail about it. And, Nothing and I'm going to lie to you, people were like, yo, what's <laughs> happening? What's going on? Who's the only people that knew? Us? Yeah, that That's was it. it. That no was one it. else knew what was gonna happen. So it's a 12 hour experience, remember that. So these, these people paid good money for 12 hours without knowing what was gonna happen. Not even our wedding party, our maid of honors, Nobody his knew. best man, Nobody my knew. best man, no one knew what was going right. down. So right. as Babe said, at 12 a.m., the guests that purchased tickets were supposed to meet at the meetup spot right. and... So when they arrived, they saw a hop on, hop off tour bus pull up, right? And it was plastered. With plastered! Our beautiful faces, images of us, just like, yeah, style familiar. <laughs> and I, I know they were like, yo, what? <laughs> Some reactions that we had were when the bus pulled up, we had... We intentionally planned for everyone to have be on a meetup spot. Right, right. They told us that when they when it pulled out, they were like, "What's this bus? Yeah. Like, why is it hop on? Oh, they just it's just pulling up so people to get off and they're on the tour." Then they saw the side of the bus with us on it, and they were like, "Yo!" I remember I was on the phone with somebody, and they were like, "Yo, I'm here. Like, I don't see anything." And he was like, 
Oh, <laughs> coffee, coffee. I was like, yeah. <laughs> so the hop on, hop off bus literally pulls up at 12 p.m. Right. To pick up our guests from this particular spot. And when the guests got on the bus at this spot, they were greeted greeted with their first Tiffany. experience of the day. What is she doing? She's doing that sound meditation. Yes. And it was important for us to hit them with that too because we wanted to provide equitable experiences for our wedding party and our wedding guests. Yeah, so just like we wanted to have our wedding party be grounded and set up their emotions to be balanced, because not only our emotions were all over the place, right. our guests' emotions were equally all over the place because Absolutely. they had no idea what was going on. They're excited to see us get married, but they had no idea what was going on, right? right. And we also wanted everyone to cleanse their energies right. and just be balanced enough to be able to trust the process and engage in the process all at the same time and have a wonderful experience. So that's why we had Tiffany do sound meditation and a grounding experience for our guests on a New York City hop, hop on, hop, hop off, off tour, tour bus first. as well. Right. The, the plus to that is most people who live in New York City don't do these quote unquote touristy things. Yeah, they never had. They said they never like, did a hop Me personally, hop I've never been on hop on, hop on hop off tour bus. And most of the people that, that came haven't been either. So. And they never, most of people never did that. Most of the people never did a sound meditation right, so either. It was just like an overwhelming experience in a positive way, you know? And it definitely gave them something to remember forever. That was 12 o'clock. Right. So then they, they they finished up with that and they're on hop on off, hop off tour bus and they head to the ceremony site. So, We're still at the hotel at this time. Right, right, as right. guests are making their way, finishing up their meditation, making their way from the pickup spot to the ceremony spot. They're getting ready, babes almost uh, remind remember, I don't know what's happening with babe. I don't see babe. Babe's getting dressed. I'm getting dressed. Now I now my hair is done, my hair makeup is done. I now do my interviews, finish my pictures. Babe is getting ready. We're supposed to be at the ceremony spot. Babe was supposed to be there about 115. I'm supposed to be there 145. It is two o'clock in Nova mm. and her bridesmaids are still Nowhere at to the be hotel. Found. Still at the hotel. Yep. Granted, hair took a little bit long. I could have just gone upstairs, put my dress on, did my photo, did my video. There was a particular situation that pushed for the video to continue, to continue, to continue. And while I appreciated it, I think that the video part could have been cut a little bit and I wouldn't have been out as late, you know? They got all the footage they needed though and time was passing. Right. So our ceremony was supposed to start at two o'clock. Right. And I'm still at the hotel at, at 2 o'clock. Right. And everyone is calling my phone. No, where are you? Are you coming? Where are you? So now it's almost like 2.15. Babe's calling me. My mom's calling me. <laughs> everyone is calling me saying, what is happening? My mom was downstairs ready to go in our vehicle transportation to take us over to the ceremony site. She's cool and she comes back upstairs because she was going back and forth about us. So she come back upstairs. Help now, I hadn't even had my dress on, comes back upstairs, so help me put my dress on, and it's crazy because everyone is calling me. Yeah. You're not gonna get married. This is not gonna happen. Because well, you're happen. not here. The yeah. wedding's not gonna happen. Yeah. You're, they're not gonna let you get married. And I'm like, what do you mean they're not gonna Which, let you get married? Which, by so the now, way, wasn't even true. The father who was marrying us was right next to me, and he was like, it's okay, you know? You have a lot of time to get married. You're just gonna do it late. You're gonna get married. But you know? I, I didn't know that, so at this point, it's like you're not gonna be able to get married. You know what that did to me which is in that crazy, moment? Which is crazy. It's what did crazy. that do to me in that moment? Made me just go over the top emotions, just come out, and I started crying. How do you tell the bride that she's not gonna get married? <laughs> I was literally crying, have makeup on, full face of makeup, crying because it literally just told me I wasn't gonna get married. My maid of honors, my mom, your mom, they were just calming me down. They're like, don't worry, you're gonna, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Willa calls you or you call her. Right, and I was, you like, were like, I was like, babe, don't listen to anything the she said, yes. listen to me. Father King said it's all good. Once yeah. he said that to Lola and myself, yeah. we're like, that fool, these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if Reeve said it, it's happening. Yeah, 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 I guess if Reeve said it, whether he knew that was gonna happen or not, he said it and we trusted him. If we were gonna get married in the ceremony site or outside, Babe said it was gonna happen. Right. So Lola and I trusted him. Babe and was like, you know what? Calm down. Right. It's gonna, cause Lola's getting emotional too. 
Reem said, Babe said, happen. it's gonna happen. Right. So we just left it at that and we said, whatever's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Right, cause, I mean, we were also rushed as well, you know, we, we got to the vehicle and it was supposed to be just, just the wedding party in the vehicle. There was a lot of people who weren't supposed to be in the vehicle that were in the vehicle, so it kind of made it a little uncomfortable, you know, mm. so I, and again, I'm already like nervous, so I'm sweating profusely. Babe's a sweater too. And I'm, yeah, I'm a sweater. And I remember <laughs> like Andy was like, yo, bro, what you want to hear, man? And I was like, yo, play that Wale and that, um, and that Usher joint. Matrimony. And I'm just vibing like. That's so crazy because when we were on the way, Lola did the same thing. Cause I was emotional, still crying. Like, even though you said I was still very emotional, yeah. and she was like, what you wanna hear? And she put out that song for me. Matrimony? Wow. No, not matrimony. Uh, I, I, it was a turn up. So. Uh, ah, uh, it was it? <laughs> uh, and it's, it's crazy too because the song, so that song is playing, right? And I got my AirPod Pros on. I think I had my, did I have a do-rag on? I had my do-rag on, I had shit off my oh, head. Oh, it was in your AirPods? It wasn't no, like no, it was, it was playing too, but I had my AirPods on too. Just because to, like, you can put on the noise cast the feature. Right, right. So I'm hearing the song, but I'm blocking everybody out. And I'm just like in my zone, just vibing like, it's like, a, it's like, it's like fight night. I'm like, yo, let's go, like, I'm ready, like. And I remember I was like, yo, can we pray? Like, we gotta pray. And, um, halt, halt to pray? I think, I think it was halting. I think my best man said the prayer. Yeah, that's I think. Great. It's, it, I'm, if, if you didn't, bro, I'm sorry. I, I was just like, I was, I was locked in, bro. <laughs> if you did it. He's like, oh, yo, somebody pray, yo. <laughs> so you prayed, and I remember I walked out, and it was like, it was crazy because we, we got out in the wrong position, so we had to walk all the way to the side door. Oh my god. So and uh, it, it was it raining a little bit. It wasn't raining. But it, it was hot. It was, it was hot as hell, and, I'm, and I remember. I, I mind you, I'm shining. I'm shining, and people looking at me, and I'm just like a nervous wreck, and I'm just like, oh man, this is crazy. I think I told Jonathan to hold my jacket for me, and I'm just like trying not to sweat, cause I'm sweating like crazy. I, I'm like, yo, this is too much. <laughs> we get there, and um, so mind you, everybody who's in the, everybody who's in the the vehicle went to the side door. But it was only supposed to be the wedding party at the side door. So the, the clerk told the crew, like, yeah, I can't come back here. Y'all gotta, no, gotta, really? gotta, yeah, yeah, gotta go through the front. I'm like, God. Well, that's how it was supposed to be anyway. Because right. as Babe said, only the wedding party is supposed to get on that particular right, right, vehicle right, and right. go in through that door. Right. We kind of, well, you kind of had, I guess, no control over that because you and your emotions trying to get everything. Right, right. And people just did what people do, I right, guess. Right. You know? So, and then. So we're in the bottom of the church, and there's like this long way to get to the top. It's crazy, and it's actually a dope picture that I took of my brother, my dad, and your brother, and your dad. And they're looking up, yeah. 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 But um, so we're back there waiting. It's like it's like the the the, the back of the the church. We're back there waiting. And I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. So we get to the front of the church, and then again, Nova's still not here, and we're waiting. And people are looking at me like, yo, who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm shining, yeah, like. I seen the drip. I, I was I was shining. It was crazy, <laughs> and I'm 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 sweating and I'm nervous. And I was talking to this one uh this one employee there, and he was like, "Yo, what do you do?" You know, we just we were just pushing, and he was like, "Yo, bro, you gonna be alright, man?" I was like, "I know, but still, I'm nervous." And she's cause she's not here yet, you know. <laughs> like, you thought I wasn't coming? No, no, I knew you was coming. I just I just like I wanted I wanted it to go smoothly and. You being late, I thought would throw things off. So and it definitely did. It was almost probably about two forty at that time, and right. we left. The thing about it is, our hotel it was intentionally planned. It was five minutes, literally away from the ceremony site. Right. The thing that threw it off was that it was the Pride Parade yep. the same day. And, and we knew, no, we knew. We no, knew no, we knew, we knew, we knew, but, but to be but fair. But the street closures, it, wasn't it was supposed, supposed to, go, to go like that, how how it was. So what happened when I left, did the same thing happen when you left? We had literally had to go around. So a five minute ride literally turned into a 25 minute yeah. ride. We already late and now it turned into a 25 minute ride. Eventually I made it there. Mm -hmm. And when my vehicle pulled up and I stepped out, my, I hadn't seen this woman before, never talked to her before, but the doors opened out to my vehicle. She said, it was worth the wait. <laughs> That's the first thing she <laughs> said to me. That's a bar. As soon as the doors opened, and mind you, I'm almost an hour late, 
out of my control. People probably thought it was Nova doing too much, taking too long to get ready. I was on time, so it was not me. She kind of reassured for me that everything was okay. And even though people were anxiously waiting, once they would see me, that's the, the, yeah. the sentiment they would get. And she was like, it was worth the wait. She was like, you look up. She said, you look amazing. It's funny because when you so when you pulled up, everyone's like, the bride is here, the bride is here. It's like the bride is coming, the bride is coming, right? So, so then the music starts, and I'm like, oh my god. But it took me almost ten minutes to get out my vehicle. Right. My dress is almost sixty pounds. Yeah. It took me almost ten minutes to get out the vehicle, and when I started walking out those steps, it hit you. It, I was. It hit you. Came yeah. down again. Okay, so. I guess at this point they know where the ceremony is, yeah, but if you know. don't know, we, our ceremony was at St. Patrick's, Saint Patrick's Cathedral. Cathedral on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan, Big the biggest church in all of Manhattan, the most famous church in all of New York. The doors are almost, what, 60 feet yeah, tall, huge. it's double huge. open. So when the door opened, and I walked in and- Oh wait, you walked in through the front? Yeah, and every guy, no, the, through the side, but it okay, had the okay. door, the same doors on the side. Okay, okay. And so the way that I came in, the wedding party, they haven't they haven't seen me except for my girls. Right. The guys hadn't seen me. But when you walked in, the we, guests we, hadn't were, seen we were already- Right, the... so, but they, you, when I first walked in, they couldn't see me. The, who could see me are all of the pedestrians in New York City that knew a wedding was about to happen at the church. So they were coming to see the church or touring and things like that. So th what the church does is they allow people on the side to stay on the side. So right. the way that I came in, the people on the side were the first to see me because everyone, our guests and you guys were already standing at the altar, oh. but I had to make the turn. So I came in. And when the, those pedestrians saw me, <gasps> that's all yeah, they said. Yeah, yeah. And so I, you guys didn't see me yet, right? right. And so that's what y'all heard. And then I said, I didn't know that it was gonna be all those people. It literally was like paparazzi when it's a red times carpet a on a, times a million, right. when it's like a red carpet So movie what happened premiere. with that though, before you got there, it was already like that. It was crazy. But they, they were inside or outside? They were in, well, well, the people inside at least. Oh, okay. Like, cause they, cause they saw me, so they were like, if he looks like that, they, they thought, they thought I was like behind. African royalty or something. <laughs> they was like, who are you? And I'm like, I'm Big Rero, you know what I mean? <laughs> so they're waiting to see you. They are like, yo, oh, we, we yeah. gotta see They're you. like, if the groom looks this good, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. And I remember Andy was like, yo, bro, you should just tell him you like uh, 50 cents. <laughs> 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 you stupid, bro. So literally when I walked out, I heard. <gasps> that was mad. And there was almost maybe like 200 people at this time. It was. Of it, it was no. It was at least. It was at least 600 people. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I just. At least 600. I just people. walked in. I heard. Like, phones were out. Like it was, it was crazy. I come in. I'm at the top of the the church. Then I froze. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She froze. She froze, y'all. Yeah. like, go, Nova, go. What Lord. are you doing? And I said. Like this girl's so late and she's just standing there. Why would why isn't she walking? I was just so overwhelmed with emotion. I see babe, I see the wedding party, I see all the guests. I haven't seen the guests as of now. So the bus took the guests from the meetup point mm -hmm. to St. Patrick's to Cathedral. They didn't know this was happening. Right. So they pull up to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Ah, the reaction, yeah, they get out, you. they walk into the church, they see it. And so they're waiting there for an hour at this point, yeah. waiting for me. So they, they're at the end, and I'm standing there, just frozen, frozen. Waiting. waiting. And so eventually, I get it together, and I start walking. And that has to be the longest walk I've ever had in my life. And the lane that we had to walk down was pretty long. It's, it's damn near a, a tarmac. <laughs> yeah. You know I mean? So I had to walk, and then my dress is almost sixty pounds. And so between that yeah, and like the way walk. you have to walk with yeah. a wedding dress, period. Now, if I had heels on, it would have been over for me. Thank goodness, I had sneakers on, I had uptowns on, so I had to kick walk and I had to go really slow, so it took even longer for me to walk down. But it, was, it came and got it a dramatic it effect to it. It was super dramatic, uh, super <laughs> dramatic. I remember when she turned that corner, I haven't, you know, oh, right, we, hadn't, we hadn't seen our outfits, so 
when she turned the corner, I was like, yo. Because <laughs> Nova always kills it. But she, yo, she killed it that day, man. And I'm here I, like this. I told you that we was going to be the flyest couple in New York City that day. Period. We, we was, flyest yo. Wedding she turned, she, turned, she turned the corner. And I'm just, first of all, the dress was crazy. And then I'm looking at like, she had like, well, I'll let you tell. What? You had, you had the headpiece and Yeah, so the they veil. had no idea. I'm like, oh, yo. <laughs> they had no idea what I was wearing, how my hair was going to be, what no accessories, nothing. I wanted it to be a full, he wanted it as well, to be a full surprise when he saw me. So when I came out, I walked down, I was holding my bouquet, and, like, <laughs> and I had, I'm like, wait, girl, get your face together. They're taking pictures and video of you, so I'm like, like trying to cry, but a cute cry. Had my dramatic walk down, which wasn't, I didn't do it on purpose, it just happened to be that way. The walk part took like, Nova like fashion. 10 minutes, <laughs> maybe, maybe 12 minutes. And everybody was turned around, phones out, even though there they was supposed to be a no, no, no phone, phone ceremony. Right. Okay, it whatever, happens. it happened. The reason why we wanted to be a no phone ceremony because we wanted everyone to be in the moment. Right. With this day and age with social media, everybody's on their phone during their experiences and their moments, so you kind of miss Mr. that experience. And we hired videographers, photographers, right, so to do get that. the content. Anyway, you know? it happened, people still got their content and enjoyed the moment. I was walking down, and as Babe said, I had my hand sewn crystal filled dress every component of the dress as you know if you know me I'm always in puffy sleeves so I wanted to incorporate that part of it into my wedding dress so even though I wanted it to have like full puffy sleeves like that for the actual wedding dress I didn't have it full it has like this V cut kind of illusion of a puffy sleeve that comes out to the top and then it's hand sewn crystal all from the bodice all the way down to the train. As I told you, my hair, my ponytail was 20 feet long. I intentionally had my ponytail because I wanted my ponytail to kind of flow with like the length down. of my yeah. train. And so I knew that my train, obviously I, I designed my dress, my train was that long. So I wanted my ponytail to flow with the length of my train of my dress and to top it off i had on my head the this crown this hand beaded crown that i had made is not from the same designer um it's from kobieski uh, and it was made in russia and it took six months to be made so wow. i wore that this that crown so it was topped off i adorned myself with this crown and i essentially had my hair up into a ponytail because i knew i wanted to wear a headpiece as well to kind of top it off and then i had my iced out blinked out earrings and necklace i was gonna wear gold but i went not with it not with gold and oh i had my heart shades on again when i saw her star squad Again, I said I'm not gonna cry at the wedding, man. I, I did say that, and I was I was like doing like the I was like doing like the the holding cry. I was like, cause like she was so beautiful, man. I was like, Aww. wow, yeah. I was like, I was like, oh man, I'm about to cry right now. I was like, damn. I was girl. crying the whole way the down the knees. I was like, it's okay, babe, it's alright. And then we, and great babe, grabbed me, and yeah. then just as a gentleman that he is he helped me with there's three steps to get to mm -hmm. the top of the altar he helped me my dress yep. got stuck <laughs> right at yep. the bottom babe helped me out and we were up there and we got married yeah